Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Moisha. I'm bringing some more gameplay footage. That's right, we got some more league gameplay. If you guys don't know, I started uh, in a league. Uh, you can see this guy's team in. He's 9 and 3. He's got a 94 overall squad. My New York Jets is nowhere near that. Uh, my New York Jets is like an 86. I'm 5 and 7. I'm hanging on to the edge of uh, the in the hunt bracket. Uh, if you guys don't know, when I started this team, it was 0 and 4 already. I took over an 0 and 4 squad. So realistically, I'm, I'm 4 and 3. What is that? 4 and 3? 5 and 3? Something like that. Yeah, 5 and 3. Uh, with this game right here, a really tough one against a guy with a really loaded squad. Uh, it's really been hit or miss. I mean, I gotta be honest, this team is completely tr it's complete trash. The New York Jets, it's one of the worst teams in the league by far, especially by overall. I went through all the other teams. I have the least amount of plus 90 players in the league, um, and I think there was a science to that. The, the, the people that let me into this league, they know who I am, and I think that they only really would let me in. They told me the story. They kicked the guy off the Jets so that I could have the Jets, and I thought that was kind of funny. I was like, why would a guy leave a team that he's been with and they basically if you, if you ask me they gave me the worst squad just i, I want to say out of fear I don't, I don't think they wanted to bring me in with like a killer squad and just dominate the league and it's fine it is what it is uh, i gotta rebuild this team for sure uh but other than that like i said really good test today really good game uh, i guess a much better squad um you're gonna see uh, right here in this gameplay if you guys want to join this league by the way or if you want to see me do uh more of this type of footage uh, other than much stuff make sure you hit the like button but if you guys want to join this league you can join this league you just have to follow the uh, the franchise channel. There's a whole YouTube channel dedicated just to this league. So click on that link in the description. Subscribe to that, and uh, make sure you uh, you make some comments saying that you want to be in the league. Watch the videos. Uh, it's a lot of highlight videos of guys in the league and stuff like that. So uh, just make some comments saying that you want to be in the league, and it's not that hard to get in because there's always people that aren't active enough or whatever. So uh, if you guys want to be in the league with me and some uh, some really good players, uh, make sure you check that out. So first drive here, this guy really kind of picks me apart. Um, the, the, him running with the quarterback is something that I pick up on. Uh, it's, it's it's a huge part of his offense. Let's just put it that way. The guy probably isn't the most competent passer, I would say. Maybe he doesn't feel comfortable throwing the ball, but he definitely feels comfortable running it with Deshaun Kaiser. So here, this is just bad news bears all over it. Hey, this as you can see right there, I mean, my, my blocker basically almost tackles me, and I still get some yards out of it. I don't know how. This running back here is probably one of the best players on my offense. His name's Garrison Neal. I don't know if he's a real guy because um, he's got cartoon picture, uh, but he's actually pretty decent. He's got a really nice spin move. Let's just put it that way. That's like the best thing I can say about this entire team, but this whole team is just straight trash. So the defense, though, the defensive line is pretty solid. The front seven is pretty solid. Um, you can see right here, I slow it down. Look at that. They, slow, they stop my defensive end. Uh, I don't know if that was nano detection. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was like, I don't get it. I was sending in five guys. One guy gets free. Whatever, man. So EA is just trying to screw me on top of everything else. And this guy here, man, his receivers just play with like straight stick him on their hands. Like you'll see so many times his guys just catch stuff that my guys never do. So here we go. Like I said, great spin move on this Garrison Neal guy. That's the best thing I can say about my offense. My receivers stink. My running back, my blocking stinks. Look at that, man. That was, that was a, a three defensive lineman set. And I've got two tight ends and a fullback. And he just comes in free. You're going to see a lot of that. And look at this throw, man. Like, what is going on? What kind of shit is that? I don't know, man. You're going to see this team's like straight at the bad news bears. Uh, and we're not even going to get to another play before you see another uh, big mistake. Look at that, man. That's a safe catch. Bruh. Like a safe catch, man. Safe catches are supposed to catch the ball and fall on the ground. He just straight up puts it on the ground. So that's what this team is. That's what I'm dealing with. But either way, on the defensive side, like I said, yeah, I'm, you're, I'm cutting out a lot of plays on the defensive side for this video to be sh to be quicker. As you can see, third and one here, and we get a pick. Um, a lot of these plays that I'm cutting out, you're seeing my defense uh, stop this guy for like a one-yard run or one-yard loss. So I just cut those plays out because they're not, not that exciting. But uh, the important plays like that pick there, obviously, is pretty important. So this play here, this this whole uh, I'm basically labbing the Oakland Raiders playbook as you can see that nice spin move again couldn't finish uh, much more than that but uh, he's only got four carries for six yards it feels like he's doing better than that but um, this Oakland Raiders playbook right here I'm labbing essentially I'm not using a custom playbook even though I could do a custom playbook if I wanted to I'm trying to basically figure out a new playbook um, I was using the uh, Saints playbook like I normally do I tried using a custom playbook I just wasn't really happy with it um, so you see right there I just you know my, I, my offense just completely stalls I'm not too familiar with this playbook yet this is pretty early uh, in my development of this book 
So here I'm actually having troubles trying to get my audibles in. It's not setting up how I want to, and then he snaps the ball, and my defense is totally out of position and not ready, and he gets a nice big play. Um, so that that there was just I was trying to base the line, and it just wasn't working. Like, I don't know what was going on there. So here we go. We're making up some blitzes on the fly here, and he's just hitting me with a nice cover three beater. I, I figure out pretty quickly that this guy's um, his, his offense. Eventually, I kind of I kind of get it and figure out what he's doing. Uh, it's a lot, it's a pretty basic offense if you want to know the truth about it. Here he's taking off the quarterback again, so I'm sending a guy. Um, like I said, his bread and butter really seems to be basic run plays and uh, taking off with the QB. Here, if I wasn't using a DT, man, that would have been an easy pick. Uh, but you know what? I got stuck on him. I was trying to set up my defense. He hiked the ball. It happens. He takes a field goal. So it is what it is. Here we go. Once again, Garrison Neal, five carries, eight yards. Like I said, he's the best offensive player I have. You know what I mean? This quarterback here, uh, I mean, this offensive lineman, man, he just really doesn't. Um, you know, this offensive line stinks. That's that's another issue that I have is they don't really hold it down. Not that I, I could get rid of that ball a lot quicker, uh, but still. So here we go. We're throwing it up once again, dropping it. As you can see, this offense, you know, it's just a bunch of brick hand receivers. They have no catching traffic at all. And I'm just like, I'm really left on an island here. I feel like Eli Manning in the NFL. And it's like people get mad at me. Like, I'm supposed to do something with this team. Like, man, give me somebody to work with. You know what I mean? So here we go. A couple minutes before the second half. And this guy just starts putting the work on me. I don't know where my defense was on this drive. But you can see how he just basically gets one huge big play. Uh, running the split back system, which a lot of people run. I can't say it typically gives me issues. But this team has no cornerbacks. That's another big problem. They have good safeties. The, the defense overall is pretty good. But they have no cornerbacks. And here he's just beat me over the top like i said i don't know what, what was going on in this drive but he just basically turned it up uh went to a hurry up and i just had no answer for it and then he just caps it off well, he doesn't cap it off here because i actually get a stop i get a pretty good goal line stand going uh which is something that uh you know like i said this front seven uh my defensive play calling i know how to stop the run i don't really care what play you're going to call um and like i said i got the horses that's one thing i got i got you know this is the jets they have they've been a good run stopping team for a while muhammad wilkerson uh leonard williams we get the stop right there you know what i'm saying i got a bunch of fake linebackers though <laughs> but i gotta give all the credit in the world to my my defensive line there we get a nice uh, face mask penalty that's the biggest thing that's happened for me today um here i'm just trying to chuck it up once again man like catch the ball you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's like this team cannot catch the football and it's just I don't know what to say. Like, I know some of the they're contested. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But you're seeing the opposition. His his guys are squeezing that ball. So here, look at all four of these guys just crunching me. Good lord, man! Like all my linemen are standing around with their hands in their pockets, just looking at me get killed. And then again, you know what I'm saying? It's just like okay, yeah, we can, we can do this over and over and over again. I guess. So we punt the ball away again. He's taking off. Here's here's an issue. Like I said, I like my defensive lineman. Uh, as he gets a penalty for throwing over over the line. I like my defensive linemen, but they don't have speed. Typically, I run a 4-3, and this is a 3-14 that I'm trying to make work, uh, which is another issue. Uh, but typically, they don't have the strength where I would want my strength. I, I, I put much more emphasis since I play cover three on cornerbacks, which they don't have. Uh, they got good safeties with Jamal Adams and whatnot, but uh, I'm really dealing with with strengths in areas that I don't really care about. So so here he goes for a fourth in inches, which I didn't even think he was allowed to do due to a league rule. Uh, I was trying to contest it prior to the play. And then once again, this dude just comes in on a user sack. Uh, now the whole thing's just falling apart. Bad News Bears coming right at you with a penalty there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So second and, uh, oh, here we go. That's another drop. Let's go. Keep it going with all these bad plays. My team is just in a straight mutiny right now. So third and 22. We actually have a spot, but you know what? When you're getting laid out in a cover four, what are you going to do? So we had an opportunity there to make something happen, and it's right back to being on defense. And my defense, for the most part, is just holding it down. So I'm not too concerned, but i got to get points here. Because if I want to actually win this game, other than just be in it and look okay, i got I got to get something going. 13-3 uh, thir to three is, you know, that's that's pretty daunting. Like, how only having three points? These are seven-minute quarters. Only having three points in the third quarter kind of sucks. So here we go. Go third and eight. He's still doing that cover three beater because, like I said, I run cover three, but my corners don't. You know, see, <laughs> my corners are straight trash. I got some rookie who's like a 77 overall, some guy with a name I couldn't even pronounce, like Schultz or something like that. Um, you know, what I'm saying that, that's the best I can offer. I think that might be him right there as he gets a nice big user hit stick. Uh, he's like six foot one. He's got good speed, but he's a 77 overall. Like none of his stuff is developed, um, and that's what I'm dealing with. My second corner is Morris Claiborne. Who wants Morris Claiborne? He's okay. I had him in the slot for a little while. And he's okay there, but he doesn't have the size or the speed to play outside that I want. Um, so I'm just, you know, I'm piecing this together. So we force a field goal, and luckily it's a long field goal, so the guy doesn't make it. Uh, I got to get something going here. I'm getting ball basically at half at the at the half uh, half field right now, and I thought that I read that as a cover two, 
and I gave it right back. I thought that was a nice cover two adjustment. I don't know, maybe it was like a, a cover nine or something. I just didn't read it um, because the guy cuts it off. And he maybe he has much better players that can make those type of plays. You never know. So here we go. He's still running with the quarterback. Like I said, that's something I eventually figure out is all he wants to do. He runs the quarterback. He throws that uh, out route against cover three, and he runs this play right here uh, where he's throwing it underneath. So it's like it's not a hard, uh, hard to figure out. As you can see right here, once he, now he runs that out route. Like I said, he doesn't have a very uh, dynamic offense. And eventually I figure it out. It just might be too late. So first and goal, he's trying to pound in again. Like I said, my, my, I have faith in my run defense because I have the plays for it. You know, I have the decent personnel and I have plays for it. And then I get stuck on the defensive tackle one more time. And I can't make the stop. So I'm in trouble now. I need a... Round right, 22 oh, trap. Man, they've seen the game films. They know you're never going to go to me and I'm wide open. I'll catch it. Who's going to make a play out there? Who's my Terrell Owens? We're rolling out. Don't throw it to Stonehenge. He's wide open. Well, that's nothing new. And I see my man. He's just burning right now, getting wide. He caught it. Oh, my God. And he's gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, there we go. We needed a play. We made a play. But you know what? We're still the bad news bears, so we're going to miss this field goal just for the hell of it. So, but you know what? I, I feel good about that. I know he's got a lot of time left. And he, I think he knows it. He's going to run the ball here, which uh, he hasn't really done too much success lately. But he's going to give that a try the first couple of plays. And I think that the fact that he had some pretty good success against it, I think he got a little bit cocky. Because after the fact, he mentioned something to me about he shouldn't have got, he shouldn't have been messing around because this happened. And we basically get a pick six. Uh, you know what I'm saying? When you have an opportunity to put the game away, don't get cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you don't know who you're playing. So, you go ahead and you do something stupid like that, you basically put me right into the game. It's now one possession with two minutes and a half left. And I gotta be honest, I don't even have a play, I don't even have a good play diagnosis right now. I just pulled something out of my ass. I just let the computer pick because I don't I don't have this book labbed and I just make a good read. I mean, so you're telling me there's a chance. I make a good adjustment. You know what I mean? I just, I just, that was not a money play by any means. I'm, I'm using a book I'm not familiar with with the Raiders. So there's no real, you know, I don't have that play in my pocket, but I still made a good football read. So here we go. We got to get a stop. Two minutes left. Got two timeouts because I actually had to use one for something stupid. I don't even remember what it was. And uh, luckily, he's trying to run with the quarterback because he doesn't trust throwing. And, you know, that stops the clock. So I needed that. So here we go. Third and eight. Once again, he hits me with that dagger, that 15 yard out, but he ran out of bounds. So that's one thing that is working in my favor then on the next run play look at this boom truck stick you know what i'm saying i gotta use one of my times i got one time i left luckily this is franchise and the clock is only at about 30 seconds so i don't really um you know it's not like a full 40 seconds i think some game modes is like 40 seconds so i still have a chance here as he's trying to i mean i took i think my last time out there he's trying to pound the rock but he knows he hasn't had success with that and if he wants to win this game with the ball in his hands he's got to go for it in some capacity on third and four that's probably not running the ball so here you can notice i go to my uh, my adjustment I go aggressive. I got to get a fumble. So third and four. We, we that's the only t adjustment I made this whole game. By the way, I showed it on the on the footage just because of that. He takes it down to the last second, and sure enough, he's going to pass, which I kind of expected because he hasn't been running the well the ball consistently. Gets a catch. That's probably game. But you know what? That aggressive might have made a difference there. And you know what? We come up with the ball. <laughs> so 51 seconds left. I have the ball. Uh, this is you know an improbable situation as this. 51 seconds with no timeouts is kind of impossible to go. Eight 80 yards. I got to go 80 yards here. Well, not 80 yards. I mean, I could kick a field goal and tie it, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of winning this game or anything, really. I mean, this is this feels impossible as it is. So a couple of adjustments I make there. Once again, like I said, I don't have plays for this. I haven't. I, I wanted to go for the one-play touchdown there, but he's probably looking for that, and I don't want to waste it down. I think I might later on in this drive, but realistically, um, there's just, you know, the way that my line's been blocking, I don't really trust that, uh, that the one-play touchdown blocking is going to be there. That, there's been some serious issues with blocking. So here we go. Second and ten. We're trying that one play touchdown here uh, i'm rolling out lofting it up i don't have the separation i had last time you might have saw it coming but you know what he comes down with it the first time in this game that stone hands makes a nice catch and he knows it's about to be game over because he's calling a timeout uh, which typically he hasn't done it to that point that's actually a bad decision he probably should have just let it happen but either way first and goal 20 seconds left um, and here we go. I'm just making up a play. Like like I said, I have no money plays for this. And I have nothing. I throw it away. You know what I'm saying? This is 15 seconds left. I got to be safe. I can't get sacked because that's game. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get the win here. I take a delay, a game penalty of all things because I, I'm taking such a, a, a long time trying to come up with a play. And then sure enough, I go with one of my fewer money plays that I have from different playbook. 
So here, last second, I just make a read. I say, you know what, that guy, that angle on the outside is not going to work. So I switch it up real quick. I put it on a, on a slant, just a straight slant. And sure enough, that read was there. As you can see, it's money, bang, right in the end zone. Touchdown, game winner. That's right. Still got to kick the field goal. Still got to play a little bit of defense, but I can just, you know, that's just, I just stole a dude's soul right there, man. Like, there's no way. You can have a, you have three minutes left in the game, up essentially three possessions, still kicking, still missing field goals. You know what I'm saying? It, it looked like it would have went through. But either way, with that amount of time left to get, to give up a comeback, that's just a heartbreaker. And then there, I actually read that route beautifully. Could have made the user pick there, but you know what? I'm just like, at this point, I just don't want to blow this game because it's, it's an amazing comeback. And we're just knocking balls away. We're just getting some, you know, everybody's hitting the guy getting the ball my defense is playing with spirit now <laughs> and now here it is last play i think he might even be using my one play touchdown against uh, against prevent which is crazy uh and sure enough it doesn't work because i'm using it and the whole team's there so that's it man comeback of the year in my opinion that was a crazy game uh, i don't know how i did it uh, but if you guys want to see more gameplay footage uh from my cfm or you know like i said you want to join the league go go to that link in the description and that's it thanks for watching man money shit out